Hello there and welcome to the new channel. Here to help you see the new you. My name is Carmine Ortega. Dennis Calamba. Jody Samadreno. This is Nato Agbayani. My name is Juan Lu. I'm Chino. I'm Trisha. This is Apple Melanzada. This is attorney Carlo Ibanez. This is attorney Sheila Sindiaga. This is Angie. This is Argamid. My name is Dante Salamba. This is Jesse Francis Repostillo. I'm Dani Acuna. Mon Mendoza. I am Mappe Terhina. I'm Leo Bryan. Mike. Nice to be here. Sir Al Ian Barcelona. Marvin Salazar. This is Sunny Haldons. Heidi Lumainos. This is Ivan Jude. Patrick Hieronimo. Alan Perez. My name is Erwin Ursua. Mine is Bob. My name is Lloyd Luna and this is... Future. The Talk. What's happening? Family Business. The Puppet Stories. After Shift. PNC Town Hall. YOLO. Marketplace. The Home Buyer. HR Hotline. Danny Art Show. Healthline. Foreign Affairs. COVID Stories. Awesome Day Show. Thank you. Money and More. Cybernet. Women at Work. Win Within. For project, the big picture. Sometimes life lets you down, and you feel that you are done. You just want a morning run because the fun is so gone. But sometimes life makes you proud when you look far and wide, when you leave the pain behind. See the brighter side. TNC gives you inspiration. TNC reignites your passion. TNC starts your transformation. TNC helps you see the new. Something bad You just wanna cry and hide And save your face from the crowd But sometimes that makes you see The beauty in you and me When you look up above There is God and there is love TNC gives you inspiration TNC reunites your passion Transformation TNC Helps you see the new We're here to help you see The newness of life We're here to help you feel Your hope is your real you got the power to see We'll help you see The new you TNC Gives you inspiration The new channel. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following show are those of the hosts, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the new channel. We're here to help you see the new you. This is Mike. And my Sylvia. COVID survivors, live streaming from Discovery Shores, Boracay, you are watching COVID it's Stories. Fun.
Maayong aga sa akon mga kasimanwa nga Ilonggo, sa Iloilo, sa Kapis, sa Antique, sa Negros Occidental, Negros Oriental. Maayong buntag sa mga akong amigo amiga din ha, Kabisaya, sa Butuan, Davao City, Cebu City. Uh, good morning everyone. Good morning world. Good morning Boracay. Good morning Aklanons. Um, it's an exciting day today. Um, especially that we're here in Boracay and um, we have a we have our guest uh, this guest of ours is um, is a he 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 was the one who helped us when, when he had a COVID and uh, uh, his family um, was there all, all, all the way to help us through this uh, COVID ordeal and uh, but before we uh, introduce our, our guest we would like to give some announcements for the Ilaw Para Sa Cagayan. Okay. Tulong-tulong, sabay-sabay, hawa kamay at sama-sama, magsasani puwersa sa isang kakaibang live stream show for a cause. Saturday, 28 November 2020 at 5.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Learn be entertained and extend your generosity as you target 9,000 solar lights to generate out of this campaign. Share at least 500 per family or 1,000 for three families whose homes will be lighted in time for Christmas. Ilaw para sa kagayan. Direct pledges or donations are accepted through AFFI Paymaya 0933-858-7777. A and also AFFI TPI account, Association of Filipino Franchisers, Inc. Account number 000243164613. Please PM deposit slips to facebook.com AFFI Empowering Entrepreneurs. Please indicate IPS Kagayan donation. Amount and a and the company name that that must be acknowledged. Okay, uh, let's let's help uh, in this uh, donation drive for Ilaw for Cagayan. So this morning's web show is special because we are in Discovery Suites, Boracay Island. For the information of everyone, zero COVID case ang Boracay hanggang hanggang ngayon. So before kami nakapunta dito. We had to undergo a very strict, we had to undergo swab test and we had to follow a very strict health protocol, which um swab test dapat. And then like as soon as you get the results, you have to to um to register. Email the government, yeah. yeah, email the government and then they will issue you a QR code. Hindi ka pwede na parang ka lang ng flight diri pa dito. They had to check all the documents that you have. Kasi they are maintaining the zero COVID case here in Boracay Island, which is very good very uh um, and it's so clean here yes it is i really admire the government the, the local the lgu here they are very strict which is very good they're protecting their the ang mga taga boracay mismo at saka yung to enjoy boracay yeah ito yung naalala ko na boracay mga nung bata pa tayo yeah, <laughs> yes so ito yung memory ko kasi taga rojas ako eh so dati wala pa yung mga establishments dito so today's episode is also very special because yung guest natin is the is the um, they are the family na tumulong sa amin yung nagkasakit kami ng COVID every week magpapadala sila ng grocery at saka ng ng paleng mga pinamalengke para meron kami food na kasi hindi kami allowed lumabas at the time we were once of the first 100 COVID patients at the time and it was very strict multi mabubuksan lang namin yung bintana ayaw na ng kapitbahay so this family ang guest natin is the one who would do the the palengke and the grocery for us and we are very grateful for them they did that for almost a, a month and a half yeah. kasi isang buwan ang they would ka- always check on us yeah araw araw so tell us more okay uh, our guest is a philippine uh, rap icon um is um, his name is Steven uh, Adlai Stevenson Gurea, also known as Mr. Blaze. Okay, let's welcome Mr. Blaze in the house. 
Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, hi, nice. Hi, Mike. Hey, hi, how are you, Adlai? I'm doing great. I'm here in Manila. You guys in Boracay, man. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Looking good out there, huh? It is, it is. Yeah. It's very clean. It's very white, serene. You can oh, see only goodness. the white and the blue. <laughs> I'll see you guys in December. Don't don't worry. I'll see you guys in December. Right. We will be here together in December. <laughs> yeah, I'm with my sure family. I'll be there with my family. So, before anything else, can you please tell our viewers this morning a little about yourself? Yes, guys. Uh, I'm Adlai Gorea, and I'm born and raised in Iloilo City, but mostly in California, where I moved in with my mom and where I discovered uh, rap music, then came back to the Philippines, finished my college, uh, went into mu the music industry here in Manila, and as for, uh, uh, right now, I'm still here, still doing my music as for now. That's my bread and butter, here we go. Yeah. Oh, can, you, uh, can you give us a sample? Uh, you know, <laughs> my sample? Would you, would you like me to do that later on at the end? Because okay. I, because I, I have a background music. I'm, I'm prepared for this. I know this is going to happen. Yeah. Okay. Um. He had like, uh, could you tell us about your, your journey, your COVID story, like, how, how, how it started? Yeah. It's really weird because uh, I never knew that I have COVID. Um, uh, mm -hmm. I've been going out and doing some um. Uh, shooting of music videos, uh, recordings, and, and my business, my uh, my clothing line business. So I never knew that I was having, uh, I had COVID that time uh, until my daughter had uh, one time woke up and asked and told us like she had a headache. And later on, it turned the headache turned into a a fever. So nagka nagka fever siya. And then my the, uh, my wife Jeline was uh, automatically ang wife ko. Siempre. She will never take chances when it comes to my daughter. So she said, let's go to Makati Med. Let's go there and have her checked. And then finally, they found out that she had, uh, she has um, dengue. So we was like, what? How did she, she got dengue? Because our place doesn't have like lamuk uh, or mosquitoes. And the doctor's trying to say that uh, in case her platelets is going to go down, we're going to uh, admit her and in here. At the same time, we just have to have her uh, uh, what do you call this swab test para mat matingnan natin na or ma-ready na siya in case para pagdating niyo dito hindi na kayo magproblema yun so one uh, af and then the result came when the result came nagulat lang talaga kami because we we were at um uh, what do you call this we we're at the hospital taking her uh having her blood test for her uh, platelets and then we just got uh, my wife just got the news and then she just called me like hey uh, can you come here? Uh, I just need to talk to you right now. I just left my daughter there at the uh, uh, inside the, the the place where you get the blood and you know the laboratory, and uh, and then my wife just told me that uh, Linley is positive. I said, "Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is me. This is me." I was like, I automatically knew that I was the one who brought brought the 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 COVID into our household. So I was really feeling bad at the same. I, I was just there standing. I don't know what to do, but you know, but my wife, she is like very, very strong. She's a strong woman. She, I, I mean, she just stood up, said, okay, okay, calm down. Let's think, let's have a swab test. Okay, so that's what we did. We had a swab test and two days I found out that I was positive and wow, my wife, she was sleeping with me. She eats beside me. I kiss her good morning, kiss her good night, kiss her whatever. And, and she's, she, we, we, we share the same um, uh, glass of water, or you know, when we we feed each other, and then she's negative. Praise God! Oh my gosh, I can't even believe that. <laughs> so Yun. So that was uh, no, um Yeah, we. Uh, see, okay. um, see, is very strong, Gani. See, she, she. I was calling her. She, she was, she was never, she was not worried. She was so composed, and then um, she had the conscious effort to. To really know kung ano yung mga steps na ubrahon niya para hindi siya kumain, di ba? She really is. Like, amazing, Jeline. Grabe. Tapos, ano na siya? Pag-on, pag-on na siya nga, babae. I know, I know. And then and the then the best part is she's negative. Duhala ka mo yan. Oo. Dilingli yan. Yeah. Actually, uh, yan, so. I'm also happy because uh, our makasama namin sa bahay din, they're all negative. Mm -hmm. So, yes. I felt, uh, but still, 
I felt really, really bad because sa lahat sa amin dito, anak ko pa nakakuha. Tapos may dengue pa. That is uh, kind of crazy for me, you know, because yes. I have to go through with that thinking that it's all my fault. And then why her? Diba? Yes. Yeah, so, so like, how did you feel then? Like, um, um, like uh, I, you mentioned already that um, you were all alone in the at home yeah and you, and mm -hmm. uh, your daughter was uh, in the hospital mm -hmm. so uh, how was how was it like it's it's uh well ako kasi, uh, i'm not the kind of person i don't want to be alone i'm i'm used to being with my family i'm used to being with my wife i'm used to being with my daughter around me like I can, they're visible that i can you know automatically hey how are you hey so suddenly you take that all from me and it it changes my mood from 100 to zero you know what i mean um the, th the time that happened that the doctor told me that Tiki, you just go home because you don't have any symptoms so i went home i have to be quarantined or isolated for 14 days as usual like the the the, the natural you know uh the first the the first time i had separated with them sa hospital pa lang, i felt so heavy so heavy parang parang ang bigat ng pakiramdam ko na walking knowing that my uh, it's still here if i'm going to say this parang minsan na ano ako na asama talaga na you leave your family saying goodbye to them knowing that they're going to be inside a hospital because of covid you know and then thinking i'm going to be driving home i have covid and how do i explain this to everybody at the same time thinking why my daughter has to be this have to be there and then my wife has to be there knowing that she don't, she's not even negative it's it's really it's not it's not a, it's not normal for me so yun so sa, sa akin, talagang the first the first night that i had uh, that i stayed in the house i barely slept my body I, i'm so i move a lot i have a lot of thoughts in my my head that you know i it's like Ang dami kong iniisip siguro mga I don't know if like mga hundreds na iniisip ko at the same time nag nagrumble na sila it's really weird it's really it's really weird that I felt I'm so depressed at that moment because I have I can't do nothing and, you know online I think experiencing that or feeling that is probably part of the covid um disease kasi ako at the time upod ko na family ko upod kasi na Mike upod kasi Michaela and then Dayaya pero parang I also felt like gusto ko na I want to die gusto ko mag mapatay no? really? parang siguro I believe it's the the disease siguro or the virus it that's causing uh, it affects your brain it, it I believe I believe because I I already have anxiety I I already I'm already I had anxiety in my previous uh, previous uh, years, you know, experience of anxiety. But I don't know if I'm de uh, I was uh, experiencing depression at the time, which I felt that I did. Pero luckily lang, sobrang happy ako because of social media that we could, you know, be on like this right now and talk to our family, knowing that they're okay and they're doing fine. They're saying you just be careful. Uh, you know, like Jillian, I said, be careful, Jillian, that you, you know you have to wear a mask or be take all the you know necessary precaution uh, to to be to be well. Na hindi ka ma 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 ano ni ni Lin Lee, and uh, and then for you guys, and then for you guys calling me is a big thing because siempre people calling uh, like families, friends that calls you to say like messages like you're gonna be okay. It feels really great. It adds up to my, you know, my my mood that I, you know, I I can do this, you know. Pero the first three days, it's really really crucial for me. Like I can barely sleep, like an hour, two hours a day. I ne I never had that experience in my life. So with this, if you have COVID disease, it's not just important that, that we take care of our body. We take care of the yeah. physical aspect. It's also important yes. that we have support from friends and family who, would, who yeah. is really there for us, who makes me feel, who makes us feel that they are there for us. Because it's important that we are yep, okay, that's true. Be okay physically. Yes. Uh, so you know what? I, what I do is I just sometimes like I bought like dumbbells, like the rubber dumbbells, because I want to just you know I, I can't exercise because I like exercising. I'm the kind of person who who feels bad like physically if i don't have if i can't sweat 
and I, I like to play basketball and all the other stuff like the exercises and I can't do that now and I feel really weak my body is you know because of COVID plus the anxiety my body is super super I'm lethargic na hindi ko maintindihan na, na pagod na pagod ako na wala naman ako ginawa it's because it's everything is in my mind and sometimes I feel like I'm saying myself I'm sick of this why me why did it happen to me you know how foolish I am to get such COVID, uh, knowing that I don't even know where I got it from. So, plus, you know, parang tapos isolated ka pa sa bahay. So, you know, I gotta keep myself um, hyped up, like, you know, like Jim, Jim Akuponte. And, uh, um, well, I, I luckily I have this, this girls here in the house who sends me food up there. They like tell me, because of the phone, like, hey, uh, what do you want to order? Uh, what do you want to, what, what kind of food did you want? Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, I try to, I try to, um, try to keep myself busy at that time, especially my, my head. I couldn't, I tried to write music, but I, there's nothing, there's nothing that, nothing comes out in my head. Um, my thoughts are always um, with my wife, with my daughter, especially my daughter. So, yun. Okay, so uh, you were saying you, you, you like, felt bad that, got COVID and you brought it home but then you were taking precautions anyway right yes I yes I am yes so I am so that's the thing about COVID something even if you take precautions uh you might just not know that Where you're gonna get from. it yeah yes. that's it's, why it's invisible that's why, yeah that's why they say we always have to um uh take precautions and uh go out, only go out when uh when it's necessary yeah. yeah, it's like I, I, I believe that even though how strong you are, you know, like physically, kung, kung ang COVID talaga, para talaga sa yun at the same, at the day, at the, the day that you have, you got it from, wala ka na talaga magagawa. It's just in your system. You just have to go through yes. with it. But somehow I am uh, blessed that, you know, uh, thank God for, you know, for, for me that I, I never had any symptoms in my body, especially, uh, no lang, uh, except for body ache. I had that body ache, and uh, that's about it. I thought I had uh, lagnat, but I don't. I don't have it. And the food tastes all the same to me. It feels tastes really good. The smell is there, so you know I have to be thankful. And same as my daughter, uh, the doctors was not really worried about her COVID. It's her dengue, you know, because she has to fight two vir two viruses. But I always keep updated. I'm always updated with them. Since uh, every meal, I have I, I call them video calls. So nag video call kami every meal just to see my daughter if she's eating well, if she's doing okay. Well, you know, they're doing really great. So it builds up more sa ano ko sa self ko na motivate motivate ako and inspire ako na you know everything's going to be alright. We can yes. we can get through this. You know, there's a lot of struggles, but it's only temporary. Uh, it will pass and it will serve us uh, as a lesson. You know, the next time we just have to be really careful. So with this disease, it's it's very important that we are physically healthy. Okay? Exactly. Okay. Even if we get COVID, even if we get infected by it, if you are healthy, there's nothing to fear. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, you're like, uh, you have good immune system. You got hit by COVID and uh, you won't have the symptoms. So the it, it's so... Uh, yeah, I, I, you know what, guys? I, I remember the time you guys had COVID. You guys are feeling all... I mean, like, siguro yung that time sa inyo, siguro, yung, yung COVID is... Ang, ang, ang lakas pa ng hit siguro sa COVID sa inyo, yes. eh. Yeah. Kaya lahat nararamdaman nyo. I was, like, even yeah. thinking, am I going to feel all of this? Like, because mm -hmm. I, I have friends that is that have previous, like, uh, pneumonia, and they really did bad, really bad. But not, like, you know, like... You know, like death or something, but you know, it's really bad that they had na, na pneumonia sila na linlagyan na sila ng tubo sa sa para ang, ang, ang tubig lumabas na sa what do you call that? The uh, pneumonia, yeah, pneumonia. So, yun, so that's kind of scary because kung may mga previous diseases na kayo, uh, yun, talagang matatamaan kayo kasi COVID, COVID hits you like if you already have this kind of sickness, it will hit you like 10 times more. Yeah. It it upgrades it your, yeah. It your, amplifies. Yeah. Like my anxiety, right? You, would you believe that I wake up in the middle of the night with a good sleep, waking up like sweating and <gasps> like I'm ha I'm having a major panic attack. 
well, I can't do anything. I, what I usually do if I have a panic attack, I run. Because sinasabayan ko ng heart rate ko eh. Alam ko ang heart rate ko mabilis na. So, this is what, this, my heart rate is uh, uh, usual na sa akin tong heart rate na to if I play basketball, but not sitting down or lying down, you get the high kind of heart rate. So, sabayan ko yan, tatakbuhan ko yan. If I run, after that, it's gone. Relax na ako. Kasi I knew that it's in my head. So, yun. So, panic attack is more crazier than than anxiety. So, you know, I have to deal with that. So, I have to think that, okay lang, lilipas din to, lilipas din to. Come on, I, I can't do anything because I'm by myself. Wala talaga ako magagawa. Lord, ikaw na lang pahala sa akin. Wala na talaga ako magagawa. Yeah, na, yeah you know? Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. You can't, you want to run, but you can't run because can't. you just uh, limited your <laughs> I'm, house. I'm inside stuck. Your house. Yeah. And then, and then with this disease, uh, I'm not really a very religious person, but I would like to believe that there's a, there is God's will on who gets oh, to survive yeah. this. I mean, you who gets to to go because 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 we have friends. We have friends who who I mean were admitted in the hospital together. Same same comorbidities, but still the other one didn't make it, and the other one survived. So it's hard to tell what is really the common denominator for those who who doesn't survive this disease. So I don't know. For some reason, I'd like to believe there is God's will in this, in the in in this situation. Maybe it's just their time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so, for the information of everyone, we are live streaming in Boracay now. We would like to somehow normalize. It's the it's a it's not the it's not the normal. Um, it's the, it is the new standard, I would like to say. Okay, let's go on a break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, okay, uh, before we we uh, proceed with the um, story of uh, Adline, we'd like to go on a break. Uh, we'll be right back. We'll be uh, right back. Watching. Yeah, yes. you're watching COVID, COVID stories. stories. watching COVID stories. Okay, before we bring back Mr. Blaze, we would like to give some announcements. Uh, we'd like to invite you to watch other shows here on the Deep channel. Please watch our all our live stream shows at the new channel, such as The Big Picture, inspiring stories of notable personalities, Mondays to Fridays, 7 p.m. Human Resources Management and HR Hotline, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, 12 noon. 
The family business is everyone's business. Saturdays, 4 p.m. Life, business, and success stories on the fourth project. Saturdays, 10 p.m. Dubai, 6 p.m. Philippines. Beauty beyond what your eyes can see. Usapang beauty, Saturdays, 5.30 p.m. Life, purpose, and turnaround stories. You turn Mondays and Thursdays at 10.30 a.m. Build and own a property. The home buyer, Mondays and Thursdays, 4 p.m. Laugh and learn from puppetry arts around the world. The Puppet Stories, Mondays, 5.30 p.m. Magbenta, bumili, at tumulong dahil bukas na ang the TNC Marketplace, an online night bazaar, Thursdays and Fridays at 10 p.m. Know your rights and the basic law. YOLA, Thursdays, 8.30 p.m. Learn about money and more. Tuesdays, 8.30 p.m. Philippines and 5.30 a.m. USA. Two leaders in one platform. TNC The Talk, Mondays at 12 noon. Chillin' Booze, After Shift, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8.30 p.m. Strategize and win in life through Win Within, Saturdays at 8.30 p.m. Kids, dream, achieve, nurture, and inspire. Watch Danny Art Show, Fridays at 5.30 p.m. Learn together across borders, foreign affairs, Tuesdays at 10.30 a.m. Because health is wealth, health line, Wednesdays and Fridays at 4 p.m. Celebrate Women at Work, 9 a.m. Saturdays. Always have an awesome day, Mondays at 2.30 p.m. Cyber Next empowers people and companies to be secured in a digital world, Wednesdays at 12 noon. Know the emerging technologies shaping our future. Tech You, Fridays at 2.30 p.m. Learn and know more about market leaders on Tuesdays and Saturdays at 5.30 p.m. Having a well home brings you to a well life Tuesdays and Saturdays at 2.30 p.m. Catch also our TNC original shows, One Day, a live storytelling, alternates with TNC Town Hall, co-hosted by TNC founders Lloyd and Apple, a show where we talk to you, our valued audience, more upcoming TNC shows that will truly inspire you. Please follow our channel on Facebook and YouTube and let us help you see the new you. And time to hear positive stories from those who recovered. You're watching COVID, COVID stories. stories. So welcome back. You're watching COVID stories. Okay, uh, let's welcome back Mr. Blaze. Like hey guys, I would like to introduce you my uh, to you my partner when I was ha when I was having COVID well, when I was All in right. quarantine. It's Milo, Milo guys. Yeah. Ah. Hi Milo. Hi Milo. <laughs> <laughs> ito lang ito lang nakikiramay sa akin eh. Okay, so that was your constant companion that time you had COVID. Quarantine partner. Yeah. <laughs> Quarantine partner. I think that's positive for COVID. <laughs> huh? Ewan ko sa kanya to eh. Siguro, <laughs> siguro nagka-COVID din yata to kasi he was like sneezing. <laughs> Symptoms. <laughs> okay. So I'd like to say hi to Jeline. Hi, Jeline and Lili. Oh, hi, everybody they're here. Watching. They're here. Would you like to say hi to anybody out there? Your fans? Here? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be pretty pretty sure that I'm gonna be sharing this video. So, uh, anyway, so to people who's watching me, um, and uh, to my fa to my family, uh, very supportive. To my mom who's in the United States, to my dad who's back in Iloilo, my my cousins, my my sisters, my uh, my 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 family here in the house who who is supportive. And then I have a couple of friends that calls me all the time, prays for me. Uh, we've been very supportive. Uh, uh, there's a bunch of them. I, I can't just like, you know, name them, but you know, they, they know who they are. And, uh, you know, Victory, our church, Victory, uh, thank you uh, for, for um, uh, Amir and family for calling me and to Pastor, Pastor Israel and to uh, who's, who always con constantly calls me and, you know, and uh, praise, praise for me, praise for my family, it's big help, and uh, I appreciate it. All right. Okay, um, so tell me, what was the most memorable um, experience in your COVID uh, journey. journey? Memorable, uh, <laughs> knowing that part, I don't have you know? no, knowing that knowing that I don't have co uh, COVID, and I was just walking around like a time bomb, uh, spreading my disease to everyone. Uh, but luckily, uh, I'm in, I mean, I was in a shooting uh, video shoot uh, with a couple of friends who inside my car. With the aircon blasting, you know they could definitely get the virus there at that time. 
because I was there. But you know, thank God they they're they're po they're That's negative. Uh, they're negative when they got the no the result because they had right, their own right. thing with their work and all the stuff. So yun. So yeah. So but at least you didn't and, spread. You didn't spread. You just spread good vibes. No spreading the virus. <laughs> spread good vibes, <laughs> alang. Spread good vibes. That's correct. Yeah. I wish I, I wish I could. You know, my virus could do that. Just spread good vibes, alang, instead of virus. <laughs> Yeah, it's that thing lang. It's just your family that you know. You, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Infected. Yeah. So um. Yeah. So um. What's this? Uh. So how was how, how was it like when um? How was your daughter at the time? Your your wife. When, uh, uh. What do you mean? Like when they're in the hospital? Well, yeah. When they're in the hospital. Yeah. Home? Like uh, you would get home. news, you know? So. So. Yeah. Uh. We were at that time at the stage that you know. Numalabas na yung uh, rashes niya. That means that she's on the, the last stage of uh, dengue, that she's getting well. But uh, the doctors was trying to say that they have a 48 uh, hours of uh, critical yan, stage na yan, that we just have to wait and watch out for her platelets that is going to go really down. And then we don't want that because we have to, you know, get bloods from people and then from, the, uh, from Red Cross to, you know, Ilalagay sa kanya, so we don't want to that that they say uh, we don't want to be at the situation na mangyayari yun. Yes. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, so it's a good thing, you know. It's all good news. I mean, it it was yeah, uh, bad exactly. news in the beginning, but then it was all good news uh, later on. Even you know what? At that at, the hospital. At that time, kasi uh, sa crucial na yun na dalawang araw, nagulat kami na reverse ang ano niya eh, ang epekto niya eh, naging magandang ang, 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 ang platelet niya sa crucial ta, sa crucial days umakyat ang platelet niya umakyat ang mga white blood cells and then nagaganahan siya kumain sabi ko wow you know like it really god really works in mysterious ways that you know that we uh, we even call, we even said that we don't even deserve to be to, to be like to be like this god but you know binibigay mo pa rin sa amin at that time, at that time, mar, mar, ano kami, uh, parang feel, feel down na kami kasi siyempre, pababa ng pababa ng pababa yung, ano niya, yung white blood cells, the, uh, the platelets. So, doon kami natatakot. We pray more and more. And a lot of people is praying with us, our family, friends is praying with us. It really does help if, you know, everybody just, you know, come together and pray for, to somebody who is uh, struggling or who has like you know uh, illnesses, so it does really help. I remember those two two crucial days. We na monitor. We were monitoring the update from Jeline, and then so, to the point na sinabihan ko pang asya. Jay, if you need blood, do you think we should reserve something para kay Lindina? Tapos um so so we had to make arrangements para just in case na kailangan ready na. So and then it's praise God talaga kasi yung update ni Jeline. Is so, hindi siya oh, oh, Pero, Guys, I'm really, I'm really thankful then sa inyo kasi uh, a lot of uh, friends, uh, uh, Jeline's friends, is really really supportive, you know. Because I knew, I, I know before, yung mga group nyo, uh, sa group nyo, lagi kayo nagkontakan, mga girls yeah. lahat, they always talk and help each other whenever when 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 one is having a problem like you know COVID. Everybody steps in and help, you know. So at that time, si Jelina man nakaroon, and then hindi kayo talaga nakalimut sa kanya. So we're, I'm really thankful, you know, and 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 I'm happy and, and blessed as well that Jelina has friends like that uh, to support her and guide her, and that's that's all we need. Uh, your young ano yung support lang. So everything is good, you know. And for the Tapos, for the pizza pala, for the pizza. Oh, yeah. She loves the pizza. Si, yeah. Thank you guys si for the pizza, went, guys. Si Yuyin pa po kasi si Jeline Je. Anong what what do you think ang gusto ni Lindy to eat? Kasi wala na siyang gana magkaon. So pizza uh -oh. daw yung gusto. Mike went to the hospital para lang ito daw. I pretend ah, to be okay. a grab driver. Grab. <laughs> 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 oh, just trick sila doon. Para oh, oh. go down the basement. Uh, hindi sila ano, hindi sila gusto magbaton. Hindi sila. Hindi sila gusto magbaton. <laughs> how did you go to the did, did Mike did you go I drove uh, yeah I drove in, uh, and went went to no, not uh, so yeah I went to the oh, you went basement up? to yeah 
And pretend you're like a pizza delivery. I'm not pretending to be the grab. Nice. Yeah. They're very strict, and they, you know, they don't uh-huh. want Mike to go in. So yeah, yeah, we have to be creative. Yeah. We have to go down there in the basement. Style style, dalan talaga, no? Yeah, style style. Yeah. So, what was your biggest realization given the COVID pandemic when it comes to health, family? Like, for example, me, my biggest rela- realization, family and the, the basic unit of society is just the most important. Sometimes we, during, uh, before COVID, we tend to forget na about our family, na we are so focused with work, we are busy with work, we don't stay at home. Pero, come COVID, my, me, my biggest realization is family is important. Families really love. So, in your part, what's your biggest realization? Yeah, that the we're the same. Actually, family is the biggest uh, part na nangyari sa atin. The realization na you know that uh, family is always uh, there when whenever you have nothing, nowhere else to go, or have nothing. They're the one who's always in the first one to be, um, who's going to be accepting whatever you made uh, done. Like me, that I ha- I brought COVID in the house. There were first time there I was really feeling bad that dinalako. Pero you know, it comes to terms of the family. They're like, you know what? Never mind. It happened. We just have to take precautions next time and be very careful. And we we learn a lot from you know uh, this 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 issue that the problem that we had right now for COVID. So we just need to share it to somebody else and everybody who is not yet pos- uh, positive or we don't wish them bad things to happen to them but you know we're here to give them information so like this what like you guys were doing really great but uh, we we are doing this so that people won't be scared people will be more yes, aware exa- they you know, will gain yes, knowledge definitely. so they will be awesome. somehow ready yes awesome yeah, awesome you just have yep. to know you just to be uh, you just have to be informed you know because mm-hmm. in our time you know we're like the first 100 uh, patients and um, you know we didn't know oh, drop. even the <laughs> first sense of, uh, first you know, sense of <laughs> taste and sense of um, uh, smell no, we didn't know that we didn't know that that it was part of the symptoms and then it was you know, so it, that, uh, yes yes go ahead oh Anyways, I'm just saying, because you know, like people who was like you know the background yet the COVID, no. This is what I'm trying to think. Because look in Iraq, among the soldiers done. Every time you go down to Iraq, ano ang yari? Nagkabumbahan na kagat automatic patay ka jan without any warning. People are really scared right now of COVID and hiding in hiding in their houses because they don't want COVID, which is the survival rate is 99.9 percent. So they have to think. They have to think that you know, COVID is not not that bad if you get it. But you just have to be um, educated properly and mm-hmm. to know what's on your surrounding, how you protect yourself and your family. So that's what we need to do and try to give them an example of what's going on. Because, of course, ano lang yani? Ah, sakit lang. It's like a normal, yes. ano, normal um, flu. illness, a flu. But you know, you just have to be aware and be educated. Uh, if you get this, this is what you're going to do. So I'm pretty sure, uh, nice and uh, Mike. I'm pretty sure a lot of people is aware of what's going on right now. If we have this kind of channel that you know gives an information like this, and then because of this, their fears will be conquered. Like for example, now we are live streaming in Boracay. So it's yeah. okay. You can travel. You just have to follow <laughs> the strict health protocol in Boracay. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just, yeah, they open up Boracay, they open so up Boracay. And they're trying to uh, build the, you know, uh, the, the tourism here, uh, bring bring it back again, and um, yeah, um, we just have I'm to t- uh, follow the protocols. Yeah, protocol, uh, Boracay, I'm, <laughs> yes, You like? Is how many times you've been in Boracay already? Just, I mean, now. First just time now, now, pandemic uh, once, lah. Just now. Ah, oh, okay, now. okay. Yeah, guys, I would I I like to share this uh, something to you guys. Boracay, dante, nung wala pa yung ano, yung time na wala pang mga buildings and all that, mm-hmm. you know, mga hotels. Mm-hmm. Natural na uh, kasi I used to go with my dad. And I used to go with my dad, dad hunting back in the days. We just go ano lang use a uh, ship like bang a uh, uh, pambot, a big pambot. Uh-huh. It's called Batil yeah. in Ilongo, Batil, the big one. So yes. we go there. And then nagsushore lang kami. Tapos nagpupunta lang kami sa mga bahay-bahay ng mga tao. Nagbabayad kami to stay, sleep there, and to go hunting. Boracay is such a beautiful, beautiful place back, back in the days. Kasi it 
has nothing. Para ano lang talaga, paradise lang talaga siya. So, Boracay has been a part of me. That's why I always go to Boracay. Plus, my father have a, uh, ang business sila na taytay sa, sa kauswagan. They have a, a hotel near um, Shangri-La. It's called Echo, Echo Bill, which I just called my dad and dad, can I get a, a, a hotel room here? I said, go ahead, just give them, I'll call them and give you a, a room. So, I just bring my friends and go sometimes. We just chill there and, you know, spend Boracay. Chillax lang. That's what, that's what we were saying earlier. Now, when we got here, it's like Boracay 30 years ago when we were in high school. <laughs> it's so diba, clean. Diba, so no? Ngayon, it's, it's yeah. clean. Very clean now, no? Very clean. Yeah, very clean. And there, there I'm happy for that. Only at this time. The hotel that is awesome, accommodation is probably 20, maximum of 50%. And then you oh, cannot enter okay. Boracay unless you have you have followed the strict health health protocols nila kung Yeah, they they. Siempre that that that's a that's a given already, you know. Para makip yeah. it clean na lang at saka yes. out of uh, uh, sa mga sakit. And then kudos to Boracay, zero COVID case. That's amazing. Zero. Yeah. yeah so, um, in the meantime, we, we are pausing for a short break. Stay on our stream. And uh, <laughs> we'll be right back we'll with Adlai. Right Mr. Blaze. We right back. See you guys after this commercial. Welcome back. You're watching COVID Stories live from Boracay Island. Hey, okay, let's welcome back Mr. Blaze. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, hey, Adlai. Um, what uh, what advice would you give to ano uh, to people who, who are uh, with the uh, suffering with COVID right at this moment. So that's ah. like, what advice could you give? So I could just advise them to just, you know, just be patient to, to what they have. And, and it, it, well, actually, it has a, a lot of different levels on what they're feeling at the moment uh, regarding their physical and mental uh, situation. So all I can just say is just uh, if they're feeling fine, that they can handle it, just, you know, just be patient. Things will be okay. And, uh, you know, just, just pray. It will. It, it does really help. And um, talk to people. Like call them, and you know, ask them to uh, you know just be be with you at the time that they really need that, that you need it. And and uh, just you know, just what kind of manghawa sa ibang tao. Just stay where you at, and just finish your 14 days of quarantine and get out and go like this. Like I'm free, and then you know, forget about it and just be careful. Yeah. So uh, what about? Um... Yeah, that's right. And then what about what about uh, for those who, without COVID, the regular people right now? Oh, okay. So, uh, to those without uh, don't COVID, wag masyadong ano, wag masyadong uh, matakot lang kasi kasi syempre hindi natin hindi hindi lahat nakakaalam kung where they're going to get that co we're going to get COVID. You don't know kung saan ka makakuha ng COVID. Pero I just want you guys to be aware 
and to be educated that you know COVID is just I, I like a, a like a simple flu. Okay, you just have to be aware and then check yourself if you know that you can handle it physically, and if not, go go seek attention from your medical attention and you know stay away from family who are you know who has past illnesses. You know, especially sa mga matatanda, sa mga bata. You know, for the age that we have, like you know, sa atin na mga kaya lang natin, just stay there and relax and just you know just just uh, pretend na lang siguro na na you're in a safe place. Do not be really really scared na parang takot na takot ka talaga na lumapit sa mga tao na may ano. Just just be this, no lang. Just wear your uh your mask, your face shield, and go on with your life. You know. Go on with your life, but uh, just take precautions. That's right. No, take precautions, lang. Take yeah. precautions. Because life goes on. <laughs> life should go exactly. on. Exactly. You, you're 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 gonna you're gonna get hungry. Kung magutong ka pag hindi ka nagano yung trabaho. That's right. That's right. Recovery, recovery to this COVID disease is just a matter of perspective. I would like to believe so. Oh. Mm-hmm. You don't dwell on the negative. You still have yes. to be positive despite being positive. Well, actually, I was negative that time, but you know. I just build up my. You're right. I mean, like you know, it 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 mo, uh, amplifies your symptom that you have. Because I had, like, I woke up one time with a very bad body ache, and then I thought that there's something wrong with me. Please take me to the hospital, Jeline. And she's like, No, you're having anxiety. No, no, no. I'm having a. I'm so weak. I'm very weak right now, and then my body is aching. I went to the hospital. Of San Juan de Dios, and they they checked me up. And then there's nothing. Allah kung lagnat, wala ko, ang, uh, my blood pressure is okay. I went home, and then I felt be- better. In knowing that day, pala, that was the start of my COVID. Yung body ache lang. Pero na wala siya, no? Na wala siya. Pero I I felt that I'm not kind of 100% because my my joints be hurting, so it's kind of, it's not normal. So yun, just it's actually, a better situation. Ta- yeah. Oh, oh, so did they check you for COVID, COVID in uh, San Juan de Dios? No, they did not. But everybody's wearing. They just, they just, ano lang, They just ask me questions. What are you feeling? And it was, well, when I was talking to them, no, wala lahat ng symptoms ko. I don't know why. <laughs> crazy. It's, it's really crazy. And then my wife said, "See, I told you. I told you. I don't have to bring you to the hospital. I keep on telling you this." Sabi ko, "All right, okay, sue me, okay, but that's how I, that's how I am." <laughs> We always have arguments. We always does. Every time, kasi ako, if I feel something in my body, I'm going to go to the hospital. I don't care what you say. It's my body. I, I feel bad. Bring me to the hospital. And then I always end up being pinapauwi ako kasi there's nothing wrong with me. So my wife always said, okay, I have this. I'm going to share a, a, a little story, guys. A little story lang. Okay. I had an anxiety, right? I had an anxiety attack that they have to bring, that I have to be brought to the hospital. While I'm dri- I'm driving... And I thought that I'm having a heart attack going to the hospital while my wife is like, see, there's nothing wrong with you. You're okay. There's something wrong with you. And then I was like, please, do not fight me right now. I'm feeling bad. And then I arrived to the hospital. They checked me. And then she, she went to the, she goes to the doctor. Actually, doc, wala talaga problema to si, si Adla. Ito na, nag arti arti lang to eh. See, that's how she is. And then, sa kakahiyaan ko, na wala ang sighty ko, sabi ko, you know what? Uwi na tayo. I'm okay. <laughs> so you don't you don't need a doctor, pala. Have no, actually, I, I'm always in, in an emergency room. They always right. check me and everything that you know. I they, they said, sir, they always tell me that did you take did you take do you have medication for anxiety, sir? I go, oh man, here we go again. <laughs> okay. okay. Any anything else you want to share with the audience uh, about your COVID story? Well, that's what about else? it. I mean, you know. Everybody who goes through COVID, you know, just have to be patient and uh, just pray. And okay. uh, family is there for you. Yes. If you would give your COVID story a title, what would it be? I don't know. I I, I think uh, COVID sucks at that time that I have. It really sucks. <laughs> have you guys watched my, you know, have you guys watched it? Some clips that I did. Yes, yeah. yes I did, I did. Sucks, it sucks, man. <laughs> yeah. but I don't want to be in that situation again. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, I, wouldn't, just, I wouldn't want to go through that again. It's, it's oh, such yeah. a relief and refreshing to know that we we can survive it. We have survived it. So wow. I, I know, it, it is. It is true. You know. It is. Yes. 
It is. It, it, I mean, like, you know, the, the feeling is like, kaya natin pala to. You know, ang daming, ang daming Pilipino na na hospital dahil sa COVID. Pero, you know, same, same, somehow they, they, they get to go home. They, they go back to their normal lives. The one who's dying, I'm not pretty sure if that's, you know, a, have COVID related or something. But, you know, sometimes if you have already an existing illness, which COVID amplifies, then you're going to get it. But if you're just going to be like a person who's like in good condition that ha- doesn't have anything, you will definitely survive 99.9 percent. That's right. Yeah. I really agree with that. So on another note, I'd like can you show the viewers who missed the blazes? Oh, you <laughs> okay? Here we go. Part. All right, I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Yeah. I think. Yes. I think. My- I think Mike already uh, saw me before performing. Yeah, yeah Mike saw me. <laughs> I, can I just play a, a, a background music of one of my uh, ahead, tracks that, that won an award back in the days? Actually, uh, the, uh, the cool. award that I got from 2010, the best uh, composition, I was uh, nominated against uh, Sheres Pimpengpo in the song in our song one from the music right. awards. So I'm going to share you the song. It's called Fly Away, and I'm just going to sing my part, okay? All right. Can you hear it? Yes. I can. Okay. I can see the changes on my pages when my member with the sound of music seems to sound with under the round. You know, I could be fine with all of my soul. The bigger the fault, the harder we fall. Live in the trees, whatever the beef. Pretending to be, you got money to throw. Living the life in the pipe, and you got your family. Keep searching. They wonder where they baby. Maybe if it you, we still sound. Nobody can say you're from the rolling, but pulling the trigger much quicker. But it doesn't have to be there with your anger. Help is on the way, okay, but help yourself out too. We're starting scratching better, better life for me and you. Never was anything greater. Chief without some dangers, he's facing because everybody's going through a lot of changes. Face and better be ready to pick up your body and get up and do something about it. Watch me spread my wings and fly and chase my dreams. I'm a soldier, told you one day, hey. We shall see the sun and celebrate the day. The day we shall overcome, come, come. We can overcome. Reach out to everyone. Rise above and all and show the world to be one. We can walk alone without us being scared. Through the rain, through the storms of a yesterday. You can sing it on your own. Hey, it don't matter what we're facing every day. You can smile and let the whole world that we could fly away on. Oh. Huh? That's an so awesome fly away. It, 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 it motivates you. people. Oh, it motivates and inspires people, man. So that's a, so, that's we'll a really overcome. good song. We'll overcome yeah. COVID. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. It's just like any adversity, we will really overcome it if we set our mind to it. Yes, it, it awesome. is all, it's, really, it, it's really something to me. Uh, yes. It's meaningful ang kanta na to because this yes. song, you know, you know I'm going to tell you, song save lives. Yes. This, song, uh, this song right here, have like people who's messaging me that they're on the verge of suicide. Oh. They message me, young, young girls. And then I talk to them and then we, you know, because I, I follow them like, uh, sir, I'm on the verge of suicide. And then I listen to this song. It changed everything. Yeah. It, gave me, it gave me a drive to, to pursue whatever that I have, that everything is okay. Like I'm telling you, like 14, 15, 16 years old girls, like, it 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 it, it, ha- it I feel really great just to keep in touch with those kind of people and the next day you see them on their Facebook accounts that you know they're happy they're with their family yes. so it, it's a, it's a nice. life changing song good. yeah that, yes. that feels uh, it's fulfilling to know that this is this song is a catalyst for change of your negative thoughts yeah or negative negative any negativity in you. So, ma- ma- yes, it does. Oh, oh, yeah. like that, yeah. Actually, there was when I wrote this song, I was, yeah. I was not, I don't know what happened. I, I don't know what came into me when the, when uh, my producer just gave me the uh, the the instrumental. Yeah. I did it right in front of them, wrote writing it down with my partner, uh, Blazing Kane. So we wrote that, and then it, it took us really far from this uh, this car- in our mm-hmm. careers. You know, reach out to people. And they, they know this song every time we sing this and, 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 our, and, and shows and our gigs, they sing along with it because they know it's, it's a song that touches not only your, your, your inner self, it's, uh, yeah, it's part, it also, you know, touches your soul. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. yes. And then you can empathize with it, you can relate to it. Correct. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, you, you mentioned you had a, like a clothing line. 
you like to plug it? Yes, Cano Clothing. Um, it's in Facebook. You guys can check that. Um, I have two, uh, two what do you call this, two accounts. I have the Mr. Blaze, my Adlai Gorea, and I have the Cano Clothing, where you can check out my latest designs that comes out. It's only exclusive, so that means I only get orders from people who want to order it because I don't have, uh, I don't have uh, release like a really huge amount of clothing line of clothes, but only pe people who are interested that I get online, especially my supporters. So yon, you can check uh, Cano Clothing or you can order it from me straight in Adlai Gorea uh, account, Mr. Blaze, and there you go. You can just uh, check me out there. Cool, that's nice. Thank you, Adlai, for this morning, for sharing. You're your welcome. Nice. Mike, thank you so much, guys. Well. Thank and you so much, guys. I'd like for to thank me. you also for doing the groceries for us <laughs> in the palenque. Oh, for us. that was, that was all my... Grabe, I really appreciate that. That was appreciate all my wife. That. Can you imagine? That was all my wife. Imagine is a celebrity. Imagine is a celebrity. <laughs> that, that, that's all that's all her she's like we, we've been like we've been like really support you know like uh sabi ko, sabi ng wife ko, you know when it comes to this uh, situation our our fa our friends are mo the most important to us so whatever happens to our close friends let's show our you know let's show our support because look what happened now it, it was our turn and you guys were there for us you know it feels really happy i, I feel really i'm glad that happened to Okay, thank you, Adlai. Thank, thank, thank you, Thank you, Jeline. Peace, Peace out. out. No. Thank you, thank you so much. Hello, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> Lily's here too. We're glad you're, you're okay already. <laughs> so We're okay, ready to move on. Yes. I'll see you guys. In Boracay on December. In Boracay. We will be Bora, in Bora, Bora, Bora. Uh, okay. uh, give me a, like a short, I, I want you to rap in Filipino. You're, you're ilonggo. Goodbye. You're goodbye. Or ilonggo. Ilonggo, ilonggo. Gusto ko pa sa tanan nga ako na malakat. Makanto dito. Kay maapas ko dito sa kay nice kay Mike sa daga. Sa pura kay kami makanto. Kamo wala ka mo kabalo kay kami mas sinadya dito ay nako. Hmm. All right. <laughs> wow, thank you. Thank you. That's so good. Right, right. That's amazing. Thank you so much Adlai. Thank you so Bye, much. Bye guys. Thank you for having Bye, guys. me. Bye. Oh guys, because don't forget ha. It's unfair. You sent um, Linley pizza. I love pizza too, you know. We'll send you next time. <laughs> joke, joke. We'll send you, we'll send you tomorrow. We'll be there. No, no, no. Just joking, you guys. No, thank you, guys. Much love and respect to you guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes. It has been an inspiring and informative morning. Hoping to see you all every Saturday at 10.30. Increasing one's knowledge and fears. Uh, increasing one's knowledge and um awareness awareness yeah for sphere through different covid stories okay <laughs> we'll see you next week bye bye